crashed this plane with me in it. Don't be so cocky. I could have crashed this plane with without you aboard. Hello and welcome to another exciting Let's Game starring me, I'll tell of a wide body, and today we're going to be playing Jet Fighter 2 Advanced Tactical Fighter, a 1990 game from Velocity Development. We're going to be, uh, it's going to be part of a short little series, I'm going to dig into some of the uh, flight simulators that I played as a kid. Most of them were on DOS. Disc operating system, running this through DOSBox. Jet Fighter 2 is an exciting game. Uh, very advanced for its time, for 1990, full 3D models. No textures, of course, that's... Save that for later. We don't need textures yet. Uh, one of the cool features is it, uh, was one of, this is one of the few games where you get to fly at the YF-23, Black Widow, which was the loser in the advanced technical flight competition with the F-22. So, we have our campaign here, and one of the cool things here is that it's a dynamic campaign, so the better you do, the further along you can go. Uh, you can play individual combat missions, or you can just do a free flight. So we'll go pilot roster, that's me. Hey, look at me. I've spent 27 minutes in the air with two night traps. Whatever that means. And I suck at shooting everything. Look at that. I've uh, bailed out twice and crashed three times, so... This will be uh, interesting to see me uh, fly along and see adventure stats. Anything interesting here? This is the same kind of stuff. Shot down by Bandit, shot down by Sam. Instant flight, interactive help, set up. What is set up and options? I don't know what's in here. Ooh, 256 colors. Look at all these options. Let's set the ground to green because green is nice. Uh, okay, let's just go into take a look at some of these. Prevent combat missions does not affect your adventure stats. Revenge of the Lara. Lara Croft? I don't know. Mission set. No additional mission sets available. Okay. Missile attack. Two sea skimming missiles launched toward the carrier. Splash both bandits so we don't have to rely on the phalanx gun. Missiles travel low and fast, so watch your speed. Let's try here. Let's just do a simple air-to-air -air combat mission. So one of the cool things, you, this is one of the first flight sims that lets you actually use multiple aircraft up until this point. Most of these games uh, were centered around one particular aircraft, like uh, Falcon, one, two, and three was centered on the F-16 and F-19 and stuff like that. So this one gives you a chance to go into multiple different cockpits and also gets to fly from the carrier. So here's our choices. We have the Black Widow. Replacing the F-15 Eagle is a tall order, one which the ATF fills easily. Underpass power, super sophisticated avionics, long range, and stealthy design add up to create the fighter of the future. It is doubtful that enemy aircraft will be able to touch the HEF for some time. Yeah, that's about right. Or get some practice in free flight. Ha! Okay. Then you can look at various weapons here. You got the AMRAMs, medium range, air to air, active radar missiles, sidewinder, which you're probably familiar with if you played any kind of sort of one of these games. What are this? interesting things is this one actually has the uh, kinetic energy missile which was a test test weapon that the Air Force and the well no the, mostly the army used to try and be an anti-vehicle thing so you have your cannons big bombs small bombs let's see you can change hey, what is done cool thing about this, you can change your weapon layout, although unlike F-19, you can't be completely, uh, completely customized, and you can just change what exactly is going on. Let's see, what is the difference between long-range dogfight and short-range dogfight, and why should I not just use fleet defense that has more weapons? So let's go ahead and get in the cockpit of an F-22, play with a couple of this. 
different missions here. A lone bandit has strayed into our patrol area. Intercept and destroy this target. There may be a chance he is carrying an exoset, so don't waste your time. Splash him before he gets close enough for a launch. Oh, this is one of the cool effects. You get to zoom right in. So we get to take a carrier launch, which is a pretty new and exciting feature at this time. It's actually got a catapult. Look, it's like early morning. Let's put our thrust to maximum. And off we go! Into the wild blue yonder. Put our gear up. So here we are in our F-22. And one of the cool things about this game is that it had complete, almost completely free range uh, control uh, control of your views, which is pretty cool. And you can do outside views, where it sounds like you're piloting a B-17 or something. But this was like amazing graphics at the time, man. You don't even know. Look at this, complete freeform. This would not be something that was incorporated into into uh, flight simulators for some time. So this is pretty advanced for 1990. Oh, we just broke the sound barrier. Boom. You got your G meter in the lower left. Let's see, that's ILS. I need to switch to, where is air target? Target, air target. Unidentified. Let's put our afterburners on. Sounds like we turned a vacuum on. All right, enter changes your weapons. Switch to AMRAMs and see if we can intercept this guy. He's at 22,000 feet, so he should be right around here. Flight models, a little bit arcadey, but this is, you know, Let's just turn up the cycles a bit. Oh, I can't. I forgot. F12 is the uh, is the uh, button to stop start stop recording. There you are. Let's lock on with our missiles. Whoa! He just went right past us. He's sinking missiles, eh? Lots some flares. Set our radar range to short. Dogfighting is hard in this mission. In this game, I mean. No, not bombs. I don't know. It makes you switch through all the... All the possible weapons. Let's turn our afterburners off, because I'm going way too fast. And this guy's going to get away. We don't want that to happen. Come on, lock on. Fire. Oh! Too slow. That was seemed to come right at you. Objective achieved, return to... What? Oh. Interesting. Um... Well, there he goes, I guess. Cool. Uh, I wasn't aware that Sidewinders could turn that fast. So let's turn our thrust down. Stick up. Look outside again. So the basic gist of this game is that it takes place in... California, near San Francisco and such. It's pretty cool because it's got like fully rendered San Francisco-ing stuff. Let's go see if we can take a look at... Where is San Francisco? It's down here somewhere. Look at how green it is. Put our throttle back to maximum. We've got plenty of fuel. Let's go for a little cruise. Now that we've made the world safer democracy. Like the breaking the sound barrier sound. Sounds like a trash can hitting the floor. Put on our afterburners. So the cool thing about this game is it actually models the Super Cruise that the F-22 has where it can go faster than the speed of sound without afterburners. Which is kind of a neat kind of a thing. So you got your dynamic cockpit. It's pretty, pretty cool. You can look all around in all different directions. I think we can look up. Center view. Look around with the... with the number pad. 
I can't keep level flight. Level flight is for losers. Let's look at our map here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? San Francisco is like that way. Whoa! And then I was inverted. The lush farmlands of uh, the Inland Empire, I guess. Or something. I don't know. I've never... Well, I only went to California once, and I don't want to talk about it. I don't know what 1.0x means. Also, this game is kind of cool because it, as it uh, simulates the uh, navalized version of the F-22. Let's see if we can... Did the rest of it come out? Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that. Poke it out there from the bottom. And the tracks. Yeah, the real F-22 is not, unfortunately, not carrier-enabled. Let's switch to our guns. I don't know why the bay doors have to be open for the guns. I thought the guns were external. Do a barrel roll. Anyway, once I get to actual San Francisco, you can see it's actually pretty, pretty detailed. Model pretty detailed in this game, which is unique for this time. It's got the Golden Gate Bridge. It's got the Trans America Pyramid. All kinds of cool stuff, and you can blow it up, of course. Back when you could blow up civilian buildings in a video game without being a terrorist. Yeah, there it is. I'll get closer in a second. Don't you worry. I'm going 1,800 miles an hour. I'm not getting shot by flak. Because um, San Francisco is occupied by communists, I guess. Shoot the Golden Gate Bridge. Whoops, crash warning. I don't want to crash yet. This jet fighter has a significant dollar amount attached to it. Anyway, there's like, uh, SFOs down there. Well, I'm really... Ha ha ha, I should slow down a bit. That's some other... There's like the Bay Bridge. Other cool stuff around here. Some spoke sacks, buildings. This is like... Really cool stuff at the time. Shoot that, whatever that is. Okay, let's see if we can land. Where's my carrier? It is somewhere. Let's see if I could land on the carrier as gracefully as I could in Top Gun. All the way up there. Oh, AWACS download. That's pretty cool, too. Let's see. Can I do accelerated time? Landscape traversal mode. There we go. Faster than a speeding bullet. Okay. That's it. Close enough. This game also had the ILS in it, too, which is Instrument Landing System, which is also kind of a cool feature, which was sort of new for this time. You're telling me to go left. Why is that? Oh, because that's where the aircraft carrier is, I guess. I think it's that purple mark down on my radar there. I should probably be slowing down. Not that much. We'll see if I can land on the carrier this time. I tried it before and I didn't and landed in the drink. Ha ha ha. So, let's see if we can do that this time. Oh, and you could do uh, tower view, which is kind of cool. Put me back in the cockpit though, because. Oh, I need to slow down, like, a lot more. Landing gear down, arrestor hook down. Oh, the things are 
jerking around. Oh, this is bringing back bad memories. Oh, oh. Need to slow down some more. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> yeah, that was. Oh, hey. That's very nice of you. I get to try it again. My gear is down and my hook is down. Let's see if we can actually do this this time. Oh. The controls are so twitchy cuz I'm using a using the gamepad instead of uh instead of an actual joystick. No, do not stall. No, no. Oh, I'm dead. I have been deadified. So I get a second, a third chance? No. But I completed the goal! <laughs> Mission score 5 out of 15. Good for me. Okay, that was, that was fun. Let's just do some free flight. Let's uh... Let's have the F-23. Let's fly around in the F-14 for a little bit. Oops. Bandits. One, two, three. I don't know. Two. Take off from... Oh, it goes all the way to Los Angeles, doesn't it? San Francisco International. Why not? Yeah, you can see more of the bridges there. Look at them. Modeled in those exciting 90s graphics. Runway 28R. There's our F-14 Tomcat. Let's try not to get it destroyed this time. Ready for takeoff. Turn the brakes off. Let's see if I can make the thing go faster. Well, I can do frame. Do more s cycles. That's better. Ooh. Landing gear up. Do you notice how older, much older the uh, cockpit looks, which is a neat effect. Put on our afterburners. I get to see the wings actually. Uh, actually uh, sweep back and forward and everything. Look at that. Isn't that cool? This is like groundbreaking stuff, man. Let's target some air guys. Make them pay for coming to California. What kind of weapons do I have on board? Sidewinders 2, Amrams 4, Phoenix 4. Let's use some of them. Where are ya? Why can I not target you? You should be right in front of me. Come on. Like at exact same altitude. Should literally be right in front of me, and I'm not getting any kind of missile indication. Well, where is he? Big 29, eh? That's another pretty exciting, pretty cool uh, flight simulator. What the? Why am I not? Oh, there you are. Fire! Oops, I fired two of them. Oh, and you're dead. Oh, and I got shot. Well, that happens. Cool. Um, killed him. Whee! Is there, uh... There's another target. Hmm. There's a red thingy moving toward the white thingy. <laughs> I think we're the white thingy. Oh, he's down at the deck. 2,000 altitudes. My pretty plane. Whoa! Oh, that's nice. Where are ya? 
And why can I not lock onto you from this <laughs> range? Come on. I. Well, all right. Hostile detected. Let's slow down so we have more chance, more better chance to find him. Fire. Come on. Got him! Ooh, he exploded in midair. Very nice. That was cool. <laughs> I guess it's time to try to land again. So let's do some of that landing shit. Where is my aircraft carrier? Oh, I guess I get to land on the ground this time, maybe. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is... That's some... Real great graphics for the time, man. Okay, where is my... Where is my landing site? Oh, there we go. There's a little ticker at the top of my nav HUD. Cool. Let's make this go faster. Vroom. Okay, that's good. We get to try and land on the ground this time. Not into the ground. Okay, I need to slow down a lot. It's the only weird thing about this game, one of the weird quirks, is that the planes decelerate so fast like you're hitting the brakes. In a car or something. The so airfield should be somewhere over this way. Oh, also you got a co-pilot. Or, uh... It would be a radar operator. And if you eject out of the F-14, it actually ejects both of you, which is which was a nice touch, actually. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, uh, okay. Where is my runway? I don't see it. 4.9. Four point nine, five point one. Well, gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I think that looks like an airport to me. Might want to turn towards it, though. Well, you're not being very helpful, Mr. ILS. I know a runway when I see one. I'm in a jet. What can go wrong? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, I landed. Put the brakes on. I said put the brakes on! Brakes! Hey! I landed! Look at that! I win! What other free flight can we do? Oh, you could do missions and stuff. Well, we can't, because we're not in a mission. That was fun! See if we can do some bombing stuff. No. 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 Uh, there we go. There's a mission where we can bomb some stuff. Oh, I'll actually go back because I want to. Whoop, no, not that, no! Ugh, all the wrong buttons. Where is... Why are these all from the Constellation? Oh, there we go. Ground-launched cruise missiles. 
I just wanted to show off that you also get the F-16 is in this game, too. So, that's cool. So that's, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five different planes you can fly. It's pretty, pretty cool for this time. Let's see if we could do a bombing mission. Weapons production has moved into several small makeshift factories in the sector. Score two or three targets. Let's make some pretty fireworks, okay? Sure. Let's let's fly the Black Widow. Let's do ground attack. That'll be good. Zoom in on our plane. Come on, skip that. Let's go. Whoosh. Carrier take off. Landing gear up. We can take a look at the sexy, sexy F-23. I always thought it was a cool looking plane. Let's see. Our air targets are bearing 90. Or air targets. Ground targets bearing 95. So let's head that way. In air target mode. See if there's. I don't see nothing. Let's go fast. Because going slow means you die. That's what dead I would say. Oh, there's an air target. Switch to Amarams. Where is he going? Ooh, there's two of them. Maybe not. Heat-seeking missiles, eh? Put our jammers on. And fire some flares. That would be that what that missile is, huh? We. Oh! Maybe that's what that, uh... White point is. Big 29, eh? Well, let's slow down a bit so we can actually target him. 24,000 feet. Be right in front of us. I don't see him. Come on, man. Fire miss. Whoops. I didn't mean to shoot both of them. It's, uh, trigger's a little sensitive. This is America, after all. No reason not to fire missiles, right? Cool. He's dead now. Switch back to ground target mode. Bearing 63. Let's go this way. Switch to our bombs. Target that guy. We'll come in. Bombing is interesting in this game because you don't have, like, a bomb site or any kind of assistance. You just kind of have to fly really low over it and, and hope and pray. Let's try that. Faster. Whoosh! 1,200 miles per hour. Actually, it's not, but, you know, that's not important right now. <laughs> See what I did there? 1,800. Yeah, the planes just kind of max out at the <laughs> 1,826. I'll oh, get shot by Flack. Flack from San Francisco. That's not the San Francisco treat I wanted. Ugh. Can exceed 1,900 miles an hour in a dive. But let's not dive into the ground. That would be very bad. Okay, coming up on our target here. 10... Oh, yeah, and it lights it up in a box. So let's slow down so we can get a good shot at it. Ooh. Let's see now. 
Point her nose right at it. Target hit. Oh yeah, we definitely got it, man. It's smoking and burning and everything. Where's our next target? 264. Ooh, do not get shot by the flak. This is a B-17 bomber, after all. Fly directly into the sun. Set the controls for the heart of the sun. Oh. Ooh, that one was close. Check out this freely rotating camera views, man. That's some awesome stuff there. And the afterburners, cool effects. Okay, we are coming up on our second target. Ooh. I don't have a damage meter, so I don't know how damaged I am. Okay, we need to slow down. Way down. Oh. Come on, hold it steady. She's one of them big bombs. Oh! I got it! He's dead. Blew up the whatever. Oh yeah! Definitely got him. Okay, return to base. Where is base? Ow. Please do not flak attack me. That's not cool at all. Is this another carrier landing? Man, carrier landings in this are worse than in Top Gun. Those afterburners. Ooh. It's like flak left over from Red Baron or something. Turn my jammers off. I don't really need those. Let's go to... Oh, we already are in navigational mode. Oh yeah, and you do get a rudder in this game, which is also kind of a new feature for many games. And it's great because it makes you like... <laughs> you turn like a sports car almost. Well, maybe not like a sports car, but... Like a Cadillac, at least. Oh, coming in a thousand... Eighteen thousand miles an hour! Let's get right down on the deck. Permission to buzz the tower! That's a negatory, Ghost Rider. Michael Ironside spills his coffee. Okay, let's try some of that landing shit. Come on. There's gotta be a carrier around here somewhere. Oh, wait, there it goes with the radar to short range. I need to slow more down. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Landing gear down, arrestor hook down. I am not even remotely at the right angle. <laughs> oh yeah, dig the wake trails on it too. That's a pretty cool effect. I'm too high, whatever that means. Oh, uh, see if this is gonna happen. I bet it's not. I think I'm coming in backwards. Crash warning. Yeah, I am, aren't I? Ha. Okay. That's alright. We'll uh, 
We'll uh, do it again, I think. Can I do... Whoops. Ooh. Looking down. Hey, there's shadows. I have a shadow of myself. And there's waves on the... on the water, too, which is a neat, cool effect. Please do not stall. What did I just say? Okay, let's... be very gentle with this. Okay, I think, I think I got it. I think I got it this time. I think I got it! Oh! Look at that! What a way to end... a game. Cool! Got the maximum score. Pitch 4, roll 358, speed 169. That's cool. I've never <laughs> never gotten that before because I've never landed. Wow, I'm immensely proud of myself for that. All my bombs hit stuff too. Well, except for two of these. Okay, that was fun. Uh, this game is uh, freely available uh, if you just do a Google search for Jet Fighter 2. Uh, obviously, if you're a, a veteran of 90s PC gaming, you'll remember Jet Fighter 3 and 4. Were also, uh, which were a bit more beefed up than this, had 3D graphics and all kinds of neat stuff, because there was a big uh, rush in the mid-90s to get uh, F-22 games out, and that was Jet Fighter 3 and 4 was one of those, but this game was where it really all came together. A very, very fun game, and you can pick it up for free on Abandonware, uh, probably Underdogs, other places like that, and runs great in DOSBox. Uh, runs it, uh, I'm running it at 6,000 cycles, so it's pretty thrifty on that too, so you should be able to run it on anything you're looking forward to. So, till next time, I will see you around. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Also check out my other recent videos.